Hey guys, it's your private nurse here, and in today's procedure, we'll be performing last office. Last office is a clean procedure and also a truly procedure. So the purpose of this is to just keep the cup clean and presentable and to pay the last respect to the de dead or diseased. So for the requirement of this procedure, at the top trolley, we have a bowl with cotton wool swab or gauze swab. We have a kidney dish with a pair of dressing forceps and we also need a pair of non tutored dissecting forceps. Yeah, this is the non tutored dissecting forceps. We will also need a pair of sinus forceps, but we do not have that. So in a tray, we will also have soap in soap dish. Um, bandage or strapping we'll need a comb we will need a nail brush and a nail scissors please make sure to subscribe guys and like the video please. we will need a bowl of water and also a jug of water so for the bottom trolley we'll need a pair of gloves we're improvising for this nylon glove but don't use that if you have the latest glove we will also need a large receiver for use swab we will also need a receiver with antiseptic lotion for used instrument we will need a receiver with two identification label and safety pin we do not have safety pin so we'll be using office pin we will also need one shroud. So this green one will be our shroud. We also need one mortuary sheet. The yellow one will be the mortuary sheet. We also need one towel and one face flannel. We need a linen bin and also a bucket for soiled linen if necessary. So for the procedure proper, we will bring our equipment to the patient bedside. We will explain procedure to patient's relatives. And then we are going to put on our gloves after washing our hands. So guys, why performing last office? We as nurses, are, we are not expected to be talking because it doesn't show that we are griefing and to just respect patient's dignity. Another important thing to do is to screen the bed to ensure privacy. Other patients are not supposed to be seeing this while you are doing it in a hospital setting. So guys, the next thing to do is to strip bed linens remove garments, wristwatches, jewelries, and denture, if any. Make sure to wear your nose marks if you feel it is necessary. Make sure to ask for an assistant because it will be necessary. So guys, carefully remove patient's clothes. There may already be rigor uh, motis, which is the stiffening, and maybe even algo motis. So you bait the patient with the face flannel soaked in water. You squeeze and use it to bait the patient. You bait the patient starting from the superior part to the inferior part, starting from the head, the face, and then to the trunk, the thorax, the abdomen, um, the extremity that is further away, and then the one that is close to you. Make sure to always go back to soak the flannel inside the water. And when the water is... Um, dirty or when it has changed color make sure to pour the water into the bucket and just change the water so guys after baiting the anterior part or ventral part we are going to 
turn the patient with the help of our assistant and also bait the posterior part of the patient's body. So guys, make sure to always change your water as we proceed and as we continue through the procedure. So guys, after baiting the cups, we are going to apply dressing if there is any wound on patient's body. Then the next thing is to pack the orifix with the cotton wool swab and gauze. The orifix are the mouth, the nose, the vagina and anus to prevent drainage of fluid. So guys, we'll make sure to pack all the orifix and then we are going to put on the mortuary sheet on the patient. Uh, we are going to straighten the corpse and tie the toes together. We are also going to tie the toes and the wrist with the arm on the ab abdomen. So guys, where you are going to put the label totally depends on the organization you are working or the institute you are working. So just follow the policy. So some organizations or institutes um, allow you to tie the label directly on the patient arm. But some will tell you that after putting the mortuary sheet, before fixing the two label, one on the hand and one at the foot. So when putting the label, I will advise you go with what your organization or institute tells you to do. So guys, we were supposed to tie the two thumb together, but since we are using a manicure, there's no space to tie the two thumb. So guys, after doing that, we would cover the patient with the mortuary sheet. And then after covering the patient, we are going to put on uh, the last label. And after that, we are going to just wrap the corpse with this mortuary sheet. Make sure to tie it intact so that when you are handing over to the mortuary attendant or the mortician, it will be handovered properly. So guys, the next thing that we are going to do is to clear and disinfect um, the equipment using the antiseptic solution in a receiver. And after that, we are going to arrange for the removal of the corpse to the mortuary. So guys, the next thing is to fix the second label. And after fixing it, we are going to clear and disinfect the equipment used. We will arrange the corpse for the removal to the mortuary. We will also list and hand over all belongings of the dead patient to the next of king and obtain a receipt. We are also going to dispose all of the dressing and use swab immediately. Then we disinfect the bed, pillow, mattress, bed table and locker, etc. So we are just going to do a full carbolization. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.